Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Precision 7510 model laptop and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how easily you can upgrade, add or remove your RAM for these models. I made a short video, I'll leave that link in the video description that you can check your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop and you can check that link to know if you can go up to 16 or 32 gig or even more and in this video i'm just going to show you guys how to upgrade them we have upgraded these ones up to 16 gig with no issue with no problem but again by upgrading you're not going to change any configuration or anything like that is just plug and play first thing first you want to power off the laptop you want to flip it upside down and down here you gonna need a screwdriver set i recommend you highly to get the ifixit screwdriver set these are like a premium little expensive but they are made out of s2 class steel they will last you many years so they're really handy you get the simple set and we're going to be using a phillips number zero all right with this we're going to start removing the battery right here in the front to remove it just pull this trigger all the way to this side and slide this cover up towards yourself and remove this bottom cover now after that you don't need to remove the battery but it is advisable to remove it but to remove the ram you don't need to remove the battery but if you want to you can remove the battery just by pushing this thing upward and lifting up the battery but you don't actually need to i'm just gonna leave it there but if you're paranoid remove it you need to remove this service cover right here there's one screw on this side and one screw right in here we're gonna remove these two screws also if you guys like my videos if my videos helping you guys you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe i'll greatly appreciate it all right once we remove these two screws now we want to put your fingers at the back here and pretty much with the, your arm and you want to push it this one towards the back side pretty much i'm sliding this backward and until you get half a centimeters gap and then you want to lift out the bottom cover once you remove that one right there and the rams is right here again the removing the battery is not necessary all right these rams are uh, each one of them is an 8 gig 8 gig ram these are ddr4 uh, ddr4 ram so to remove the ram all you need to do put your fingers at the side of the triggers right in here and you want to push them away from each other and the ram will pop out in 45 degree angle right there and the, all you want to do is to pull it out in the same angle uh, backward so you can remove that one and again two triggers and remove this one this way now when you get the new ram make sure the notch on the ram right over here matches the notch right on the dim which is right in here so if i try to put this one that way around it will simply not go through all right let's say that you got the new ram in you want to bring it down in 45 degree all the way inside the jack make sure the pins are inside the jack and simply you want to push it towards the motherboard and you want to hit these two triggers open and close and make that tiny sound same thing here grab it in 45 degree angle bring it in and push it towards the motherboard and this was a really soft click but it didn't go through once you have removed the installed the new rams in all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover put it in an offset position push it down and then slide it towards yourself and make sure it comes you have to try a few times sometimes it's a lot of more force is required on both sides there you go now as long as you see the screw holes uh, like really align and that's as far as you want to go and then you want to just tighten up the screws on the side and there we have it and just don't forget to put the bottom cover and slide it backward and then lock it down all right to get to the second part of the ram if you want to access the other four slot which is under the keyboard i'm going to show you really quickly how to get to the two slot that is under the keyboard so again power off we're going to flip it upside down we're going to remove the ram cover as already showed you guys remove the battery completely we're going to remove the hard drive and remove the four screws on the hard drive one two three four 
Once you remove these four screws, you want to slide the hard drive towards the left, lift it up. We are going to detach these cables, four of them. So lift up the lock 90 degree and slide it back just like that. Now we are going to open it up. Grab the opening tool. The pick of the guitar has to go inside that tiny space right there. Just about one millimeter. And then you just want to push it down like that. And the bezel is going to come up. Grab the bezel, not the key, just the bezel. And lift up the bezel. Put your hand underneath. And in 45 degree, no more. Otherwise, you're going to crack it. Bring it up. So that's the bezel. Once you remove the bezel, we're going to remove six screws. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Remove all these six tiny screws. They're all the same size. All right, once you remove them, you want to lift up the keyboard from the front end. There's a tiny clip here. You want to lift it up, lift up this side. Once you raise those clips, you want to bring the front end upward about one centimeter, no more than one centimeter. And then once you have it up, you want to pull it towards yourself gently and then rotate it, put it face down. Now you want to remove one screw right in here. This is the RAM cover. And then you want to lift up this cover, put it to one side. And there is your two RAMs in here. To remove them, pull these two hinges away from each other and slide the RAM out. Same thing here. Slide them out. Make sure the notch matches. Bring it down in 45 degree. Push it towards the motherboard. Grab it. 45 degree. Push it towards the motherboard. Grab the cover. Put it on. Put that one down. And lock it down. You can have a 16 gig on this side and 16 gig on the other side. Now that you have that one in there, you want to grab the keyboard. Bring it down. Push down the bottom, the top side of the keyboard. Top row has to go under the palm rest. Make sure all these flex cables are nicely going through the crack right there. Push the side, make sure you tiny clicks on the sides. Put the six screws on the keyboard, three on the front end and three in the middle between the keys. Okay. Now you want to grab this bezel, you want to put it on top, and then you want to just push down in between the keys, make sure you hit those nice tiny clicks. That's what you want to hear. All around, in the front end, and that's it. So you want to close it down, flip it upside down. If you finish on the top part, on the portion, close it. Put, open up the latch for the locks and slide the flex cables underneath and lock it down. One by one, lock it down. Make sure it goes all the way in, lock it down. Lock it down. Grab the hard drive, put it down, slide it in. Put the four screws for the hard drive. And that's how you can access the four and uh, two other RAM additional RAM slot on the other side. Grab the battery, push it down, grab the cover, slide it up, and lock it down. There we go.